Will it be the College of Southern Idaho, the ninth seed, or will it be the 10th seed, Walter State out of Morrison, Tennessee? We'll soon find out as the Senators and Golden Eagles throw down. I'm Tyler Springs. Great to be with you this evening from Oxford, Alabama at Chaco Laco Park. Incoming, 3-2. Hokinson this time in the field of play. Dixon covering a lot of ground in center will make the play. As we take a look at the defense behind Tory Kaufman tonight. Hale staying patient. 2-2, shot into the air, left field. Coming on Mason to make the grab, and she does. Two away. Taken high for a ball. And Briley Bigelow aboard with a two out walk. 3 2 again, incoming. In the air, right field, drifting back Taylor. She'll camp beneath. No runs in the first for Southern Idaho. Walter State coming to hit up next. Dixon in the air, shallow left field. This one will not drop. It will be caught, in fact on a run by Reagan Rex, darting in and narrowly avoiding a collision with a teammate. The payoff. Check swing, did not go around. A walk drawn by Nora Mack, the shortstop. For the rest of the contest. Bounce to the left side. Tough play, they'll get the force out for one and not the second. To put Walter State ahead for good against Lake Land. Ropes this one to center, this will get down and it's gonna get by Manzanaris all the way to the fence. Hustling around third, gunning for the plate and scoring on the play, the runner from first, Jules Johnson. How about the catcher motoring home for the first run for Walter State. Bounce to the left side, backhand stab, it's short, and they'll keep it in the infield. Evers aboard with an infield hit. One, one. Baltimore chopped to second, and it eats up the second baseman. This will score a run as well. We're not used to seeing Tessa Hokinson take the wrong hop, but she got caught in the wrong end of the short hop there. Lofted to center, Manzanares will have a play, and she'll take it. But two come across for the Senators. They're on top after one, two nothing, over Southern Idaho. Driven to short, off the glove of Mack, she knocks it down and fires to first, and that makes the play. Incoming. Farnsworth punches it toward first base. Well played that time at first by Hayden Campbell. Nothing in two from Kaufman. Manzanares to third. Fielded ably by Copley. And that'll retire Southern Idaho. One, two, three in the second. It's a two nothing game. And then a run scoring on an error at second base by Tessa Hokinson. Bunted in the air. What a web jam! A diving catch by Abby Banning coming in full horizontal from third. We're in the second. It's wrapped past the second baseman, Hokinson. A single by Hayden Campbell through the right side. Laid down. Charging is Banning, she'll have no play. And wisely, Reagan Rex comes in from left field to cover third base. I've had, had they been the ones to pounce on it. Bunn offered, it's down, two first, in time. And scooped well by Hokinson. So Mack retired. Johnson in the air, to center, in the gap. Manzanera is coming on and will make the play. Two stranded by Walter State. 
It remains a two-run ball game between Seeds 9 and Ball. Trying to get the wood to it. Nick Bomber looking on. Bunted. Banning. In there. Coming into this ball game. They're more about the long ball. But they'll play short here. To first, Copley makes the play. Good coverage. Launched into right. Taylor coming on. She'll make a running grab. Runner holds at second. Driven to right field. Taylor able to make the grab there. And again, CSI held at bay. Brooklyn Copley launched deep to left field, but the park will hold it. It had for a moment the trajectory of a similar strike she made this afternoon. Wrapped on the ground, Hale at short, calmly puts it away. Lifted to right field. This will challenge Briley Bigelow, but only a little. A couple of flyouts. Here in the fourth, or rather the third, for Walters. They still lead it, 2-0 going to the walk-off win over Odessa moments ago. Lifted to center field, Dixon will make the play. Just the kind of joyous, inspirational stuff you find at this time of year. Kaufman's deal incoming. Christensen to short, Nora Mack there, she'll make the play to first. Full count offering coming again. Jensen takes, strike three. Marquesa Jensen rung up by Tori Kaufman. Two nothing is what the score remains with Walter State leading in the no on Golden. Wrapped right back to the pitcher. That's usually how that works out. Amari Golden put away to bring Abigail Taylor. Abby Hayes, I mean. Vaughn offered, laid down well, banning the throw to first, safe! That play would not have been nearly as close if Abby Banning had not released that ball so quickly. Breaking for second, the throw down. Did they get Taylor? Yes! What a tag applied by Kenzie Hale. She took that one on the hand. It's gonna take some grit. Line down the line. Glove nicely at first base though. What an effort. Right near the bag by Courtney Christensen. The footwork outstanding. Zanaris and Abby Banning following her. Softly to second. Golden. Got her. A 2-0 score when your offense has performed the way his has throughout the year. But this is just the nature of the World Series, where good hitters like Taya Manzanera strike out. In these circumstances. Swing and a miss. Banning challenged, and Kaufman just a pitch better. 2-0, Walter State maintaining the edge on Southern Idaho. Higgs' deal. Wrapped to short, and this will sneak beneath Hale's glove. Dixon aboard. Mack offers it here. And she'll give herself up. Dixon to second. Johnson hit toward third. Was this caught on the fly? Are they going to say Johnson is out? Or was it trapped by Banning at third base? Ban it's one and two. 
Copley driven to left field. Drifting back, Rex makes the catch near the line. The deal. Evers with a rope to left field. Reagan Rex makes the grab. And the threat retired. We go to the sixth. Still a 2-0 game between Walter State and Southern Idaho. Three runs in the bottom of the seventh against a tiring Kaufman. Swing and a miss. Rex down on strikes. Kaufman's 1-2 swung right through. Hale to the left side and through. Just the second hit of the ball game for Southern Idaho and Kenzie hit of the game for Idaho State. And they're gonna call Kenzie Hale out. We're gonna try and get an explanation for why that was ruled, but out takes out just the second hit and second base runner. The deal on the ground, right side, Hokinson fields, and she'll toss the first for the out. One away. Swing and a miss by Saltz. Down swing. The 1 0. Launch to left field. This is going to dive down in fair territory for a base knock. Sweet swinging Abigail Taylor with a base hit. Hayes deals. Launched out to left field, taking Rex back. It's going to go over her head, all the way to the fence. Wheeling around from first and digging for the plate and scoring without a throw. Abigail Taylor makes it 3-0 Walter State. Lifted in the air to center. Manzanares back, reaching up. This is over her head. Carbon copies of each other. A triple sliding for Kaylee Dixon. And another run comes home. Lofted to the left side of the infield. Hale ranging over, and she will make the grab. But Walter State adds a pair in the sixth. Launch to center field. This is going to get down. Dixon covering ground quickly in the gap. Riley Bigelow is aboard. Corey Kaufman. The deal. She goes outside to Christensen, staying away from the barrel. The deal. Jensen lifts it in the air. Right side foul ground. No, they didn't catch it. Every runner moves up, and here goes the ball skittering around the infield. Infield defense so critical in these spots. Southern Idaho comes away with a run on a hit down the line to right. That line in right field, it looked like it was going to be caught, but it actually ended up falling in for a hit. This one's lying through the right side. It'll score perhaps another run. The throw to the plate. No tag. Two runs in here in the seventh for Southern Idaho. On the base knock for Haley Farnsworth, her first at the World Series. Hokinson cuts and misses. Pinch it appearance ends in a strikeout. That is the first out of the inning. It must have been a fly out to right field earlier when we thought Jensen's ball dropped. That is the third out, and Walter State has taken the victory 4-2 here in the seventh. Tori Kaufman celebrates with her teammates as the Senators will go forward into Thursday. An elite eight berth goes to Walter State as they knock out the nine seed CSI. What a thrilling seventh inning, a 4-2 victory for Tori Kaufman as she goes the distance and sends the Southern Idaho Golden Eagles home.
in a wild finish here in Oxford. The final, a 4-2 victory for Tory Kaufman and Walter State as they advance to the Elite Eight on Thursday with a 4-2 victory. Up next, our final game of the night. Number four seed Florida Southwestern taking on number 11 Wallace State here on ESPN Plus in Oxford.